Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. We're doing 2,000 points of Black Templars versus Necrons. We're going to be playing Sealed Orders from 2017 Chapter Approved. Uh, We're going to be playing with uh, the Hammer and Anvil deployment. Uh, the Black Templars will be on this side of the table, and the Necrons will be on the left-hand side of the table. So we have two objectives in the trenches, one here in the crater, another beside the tractor unit, and then two in the supply section down here. So Necrons on the left, Black Templars on the right. We will be right back with the armies. Okay, so the uh, Black Templar are slightly different than what we've been playing recently, but not too different. Uh, we are running uh, two formations, a battalion and a spearhead. The battalion has the first HQ and the warlord is a captain. His warlord trait is Rites of War, and he's carrying the Teeth of Terra. The second HQ is an Emperor's Champion. Then uh, for the troop slots for that uh, formation, I have two nine-man Crusader squads that have a plasma gun and a pair of power swords. And then I have a third Crusader squad that is nine men strong with a melta gun and a multi-melta, and they all have bolters. And in the fast attacks, I have a 10-man uh, assault squad with uh, three plasma pistols and a power sword. Then for transports, I have a trio of rhinos for the Crusaders to ride around in. Then moving over to the spearhead detachment, which will be led by a lieutenant with a mastercrafted bolt gun and a power sword, I have a trio of vindicators and a trio of centurion devastators with las cannons and hurricane bolters and a five-man uh, devastator squad with two missile launchers and the armorium cherub. Next up, we have the forces of the Necrons. We're going to be playing Mephrit Dynasty today, and we're going to be making a small change to the last list we played. Uh, we still have a Catacomb Command Barge, still running with a Mortal Pride, and still running with the Nightmare Shroud. He has a Staff of Light and a Gauss Cannon. He has a Crypt Tech with a Chronomatron in his second slot there for HQs. For our troops, we have three squads of 10 Gauss Blaster Immortals. We have three squads of Warriors. Uh, now, we have one that is 16 strong and two that are 18 strong. We have a squad of three heavy destroyers. We have a singular ghost arc. And then in place of the wraiths we have been playing, we are now running a monolith. You've seen the armies and you've seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the maelstrom. All right, we are underway, ready to get the first turn started here. The Templars did finish their deployment first. Josh, walk us down what you got. So we uh, set the captain, the captain up with one of the uh, close combat oriented squads. Uh, kind of in defilade some of the uh, potential incoming fire in case we do not go first. And then we put the Centurions up on the ramparts with the Lieutenant. The Bolter Arm Squad is here in the center holding up what I hope is not a death trap. Uh, the Emperor's Champion is riding with the other close combat squad. The uh, Devastators are uh, set up on an objective behind them. And then I set my armored wall up on my far right all the way out on my flank is the 10-man assault squad hugging cover. They're going to try a little bounding leap at the beginning. All right. So for the Necrons, we have a squad of warriors on this flank along with one squad of immortals. Uh, they are both strung back to the Crypt Tech, who has set up headquarters back here behind the base. Uh, we also have the Catacomb Command Barge back there. Uh, opposite side, we have the other squad of warriors. I'm sorry, I said one over here. We do have two squads of warriors, one up front, one in the back. And then we have one of the squads over here. We have two squads of immortals backing them up. Ghost Ark up high. And then we have the uh, heavy destroyers in the backfield trying to mitigate some of the incoming fire on them. Um, the monolith is going to be rising from the tomb underneath. Uh, so that is set up. Uh, Black Templars have plus one to their roll. So let's see what they come up with. A four, which will be a five. So Necrons need a five or better to keep it alive. A two will not do it. So the Black Templar are going to be taking the first turn. We will be back after their initial engagement. Okay, so uh, the Black Templar turn is finished. There will not be an assault phase. Um, 
We moved the Vindicators up and formed a box square for the Assault Marines to attempt to take cover behind from any incoming fire, at least the vast majority of the incoming fire. The Vindicators then took a line breaker bombardment and bang on both of the Immortal squads down here. We killed uh, 13 total. 13, six and seven. Six in the back squad, seven in the middle squad. Uh, can't ask for a lot more than that. They, uh, they came up pretty big there. Uh, hopefully his reanimations will not hurt that badly. The uh, Centurions and the Devastators combined fire on the other Immortal Squad to knock down four members through the last cannons of the missile launchers. Yep. All right. So no points scored, correct? Correct. And discarding one card. Yes. Um, we will generate objectives for the Necrons and then be back for Necron turn one. Necrons have completed turn one up to the assault phase. Um, we went ahead and dropped the monolith in after everything moved forward. Um, we then uh, pushed the warriors forward on this flank along with the immortals. We were able to reanimate a few. Uh, we have four down from each squad still. Uh, we cast the Pharaoh's Will as a stratagem this turn to give these guys plus one to their moves. We we're going to try to get a charge with them with that. Uh, we also put it on the Heavy Destroyers. Um, we then advanced over here slightly. Didn't do a ton of movement, just the front squad of warriors. Um, and the Ghost Arc leapt out to try to stop some of the Vindicators' uh, movement forward. Um, we then fired with the Heavy Destroyers and had one of the hottest shots ever. Uh, they took an Extermination Protocols. Three hits, three wounds, two sixes, and a five. Seventeen wounds, and of course, at that point, the Vindicator was obligated to explode. Uh, when he blew up, he did three wounds to the Ghost Arc, one to each of the other Vindicators, and killed three of his own Assault Marines. Uh, the warriors up front here combined then with the uh, ghost art to wipe the assault marines out and cut all of them down with his shooting. Uh, we were able to do a couple more wounds to the white vindicator with the, uh, fl uh, the flux arcs on the uh, monolith. We then fired the monolith and the catacomb command barge here. Um, we were able to bring this down to two wounds with all of our anti-infantry fire. Um, from that point, we made a charge. Uh, we put the Ghost Arc into both of the Vindicators, survived the Overwatch, which is a first, I think, for his Vindicators, um, and then uh, locked them both with an 11. Um, we also rolled a 9 to charge with these Warriors. They are going to be locking both of these Rhinos. Uh, so that is Necron turn 1 up to the Assault Phase. We're going to work these combats, and then we will be back. All right, Necron Assault phase is complete. Uh, the Ghost Arc was unable to do any damage and did not take any in return. Uh, down here, we were also in a gong show. Nothing happened uh, except for uh, one warrior did go down, so not a total gong show. Uh, but we did nothing to the rhinos. Uh, we, or no, we did. We wounded a rhino over here. I'm cutting the little guys too short. Uh, we were able to slide around here and block up as much as possible to keep this rhino entangled at the moment. Um, so that is going to be it for turn one. Uh, the Necrons will score first blood and secure objective three, and the Black Templars have scored defend objective one. Uh, so that's it for turn one, two to two. We will be back with the Black Templar in the top of turn two. Okay, so uh, the Black Templar are up to the assault phase. In the shooting phase, um, we start with the Devastators down here. We split the Devastators. One of them fired a flak missile on the uh, barge, and two bolters fired on the barge that had range. And the flak missile knocked two mortal wounds out of it, and then the two bolters both knocked a wound <laughs> out of it. Um, the crack missile fired and then we burned the armorium cherub to fire a second time but missed but the one that hit did knock down one of the immortals the six last cannons from the centurion devastators also fired on that immortal squad and knocked down three of them the one guy that had range with the hurricane bolter knocked a couple of more wounds out we left the barge with six wounds total through what, the one more unit the yeah, rhino the rhino there as well too. yep yep the bolter squad got out and fired to pretty great effect. We left the Immortals with one uh, one guy left between the Bolters, the Melta Gun, the Multi Melta, and the Plasma Gun out of the Close Combat Squad. The Captain tried to take the last guy down but could not get the wound to convert despite using a reroll. We just could not make that four come up. Yep, it was a big roll. Getting rid of him would have helped tremendously. Everyone that had a bolt pistol fired on the Warriors in front of them. No real effect there, but we're just letting them know we're coming in because all of the squads made their charges. Both of the characters made their charges. 
We attempted to charge with this rhino on the flank in a huge position to try to lock down the other 18-man warrior squad, but needing a 9, we rolled a 4, and we did lose two wounds for our efforts on Overwatch. All right, so we'll be back after we work this combat, or slaughter, I should say. We will be back after that. Okay, so the close combat rolls to an end with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine warriors down. Lots. And they knocked one wound out of the rhino. Yeah, we threw a counterattack trying to get those two since we did pin the squad inside, but no dice. Uh, we did manage to bring it down to one wound, though, so maybe we can get lucky and finish it off here in our turn. Um, so you scored one point, right? That's it. For secure point. objective four, which is where the rhino peeled back over here. Uh, so that'll be three to two in favor of the Templars going into Necrons. Turn two. All right, the Necrons are up to the assault phase in turn two. Uh, we went ahead and maneuvered on the Vindicator here and were able to bring it down with the uh, Immortals fire where they were at negative three for Mephret. Um, he would have survived, made tons of fives, but then we remembered Mephret negative another one. So uh, these Immortals were able to bring this Vindicator down. Um, we were able to put this one down to uh, six wounds and we are charging it uh, with the Ghost Arc. Um, the Monolith moved forward along with the uh, Heavy Destroyers who went to the top. We fired a solar pulse, fired here, and got one guy. Uh, we did leave the second guy at one wound, uh, but very, very good saving there on the uh, uh, guys in cover there. Uh, but we did manage to bring one down. We'll leave one at one wound. Um, we are also charging into these Marines with the Monolith, and uh, we are charging them with these Warriors across where the Vindicator was, and we are charging these Warriors into the Rhino on that flank, which they left at one wound. Um, we will be back after the uh, Necrons finish up their assaults. Alright, the Necron assault phase rolls to an end. We were able to cut down a handful of Marines, I think three, with all of our charges here. Um, we lost five Warriors in return, but before that happened, uh, we, and we lost, uh, sorry, three more here, so we lost eight total. Um, so uh, before that happened, we were able to uh, crush the Rhino, and there is nowhere here for those guys to get out. They are completely encircled. Um, so that will destroy the squad that was inside. Um, the Emperor's Champion and the Captain did work, though, to uh, get rid of some of the Warriors, cut down a few of them. Uh, this squad did make their charge in and cut down two of these Marines. Monolith got one of them as well. Uh, we charged and locked up this Rhino, but we were unable to get that last point out of it. Um, so we're going to score Endless Legions uh, for reanimation numbers. We're going to discard Psychological Warfare because virtually all of his infantry are right next to the Captain, who makes them not care. Uh, so uh, that's going to be three to three. Uh, we're going into the top of three. Black Templar response. Coming up next. All right. So we went ahead and wrapped the entire turn together into one video for the Black Templar because we're getting a little sparse on units and stuff that was going on. The two Crusader squads fell back out of combat owing to the hole that the Rhino left, allowing us to pull off of the Warriors. The captain charged into the warriors, and the emperor's champion consolidated up into the warriors as well. Uh, between the two of them in combat, they managed to drag down two total warriors entirely. Uh, it's kind of pathetic. Yeah, not um, very good. The warriors down here on the rhino, gong showed. They just can't get it done in combat. We'll see if they fall back and let somebody else shoot it to death. In the shooting, uh, we shot a... Flak missile and a crack missile at the monolith and managed to do it six wounds, I think, between the two. Yeah, something like that. I think that's right. And then we fired the last cannons off of the two remaining uh, Devastator Centurions and left the monolith sitting at nine wounds. Yep. All right. So uh, still several reanimations. They are caving on those warriors. They just cannot finish a squad off. Um, we will be back. Uh, let's see. You scored, uh, what, one point for secure objective one. So, four to three, favor the Black Templar. Uh, Necrons, turn three, coming up. All right, the Necrons have finished their turn up to the assault phase. Uh, we went ahead and fell back with one squad of warriors. Uh, we were unable to with the other one because we cannot get back in coherency. We are too cut up now. Uh, we went ahead and moved the Immortals and the Cryptech around this way. Uh, they were able to get their fire through the gap here, and them, along with the Flux Arcs on the Monolith, completely wiped out the uh, Crusader squad here. Uh, we were also able to kill off the entire uh, Crusader squad on this flank uh, between the Overlord and the Immortals that are still hunkered here by the wall. 
Um, down here we fell back from combat and stretched out around the rhino. Um, and we fired again on these guys and did nothing. Uh, two hits, two wounds with the heavy destroyers and he shrugged both of them on cover. Uh, however, this thing made up for it. Uh, we fired its uh, flux uh, or flare arrays here and wiped out the entire five-man Devastator squad in one shot. Uh, the Immortals then left this thing at five points and are now going to be charging it. We're also launching the Monolith into the Rhino. Um, that is it. We are up to the assault phase. We'll be back once we've worked those combats. All right, the Necrons have finished up their assault phase, and we are going to go ahead and call it a game there. We scored two points because we were holding the three for objective four this turn. Uh, we got two of the objectives there, not defend, but secure and mission critical. Um, we were able to keep these guys tied up. We lost a couple of warriors and dealt a wound to each character. Um, nothing happened over here, uh, so that was about it for the turn. Black Templars are just thin at this point. Uh, and are down on points now with a very difficult road ahead to try to get anything back. So that's going to be a game. We'll be Necron's victory. We'll have after action reviews and army lists at the blog as always. Be sure to give us a like on Facebook and a subscription on YouTube. Uh, hit the bell to get notifications from us. And uh, to all of you who have already subscribed, we appreciate it. As always, guys, thanks for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.